Yeah, remember the dolls that I found? I thought I did such a great thing and I picked up these, I think there were five of them in the bag for uh, $2. Yep, Ava strikes again. She was able, I don't know how she was able to find these. I searched and searched and I could not find them. But she found them and she told her mom, they're not, they're just knockoffs. They're not worth anything. So these are probably just gonna get re-donated or I may just take them um, and donate them down to our library for the kids down there to play with. So that was kind of a bummer. But anyway, I'm gonna head out today and see what else I can find. So. <laughs> That's Maya. She knows I'm leaving. All right, so we just stopped at the bank. I had to run through the bank and I am on my way out of town. Um, I have company today. I uh, My son is in school, my daughter's in school, my husband's at work. So I'm by myself today. So I thought, I'm gonna bring him along. I have Grogu with me. He actually came from, it's just, it's a cutout. He came from Oriental Trading Company. <laughs> so yeah, I thought that'd be kind of fun to throw him in the car and just drive around with him for a little bit. So got my Grogu, my baby Yoda. <laughs> All right, my next stop, I got Goodwill. I have donations that I need to drop off and then I'm gonna run in because I really have to pee. <laughs> I've been drinking coffee all morning and I've been out. I don't know. Yeah, I said out because that's how we talk. Um, for a couple, at least a couple hours, probably about two and a half, three hours. So yeah, all right. I made a good while alive. It was really busy in there and they're so expensive. Um, I only found two things. So we have Pooh Bear back there. He was $3.99, but he's he's pretty big. I don't know if you can tell. Um pretty large. And I'm kind of wondering if he's not maybe vintage i don't know i have to look i did not take my glasses in so i couldn't really see the tag but i know that my oldest daughter who's now 25 had a, a large pooh bear like that when she was little so i'm kind of hoping that that's what that pooh bear is and the only other thing that i found is bath and body works it's never been it's new it's never been used it's 2.99 it's winter, winterberry wonder. It actually smells really good. And I think this is an older one because the price tag on it is $13.50. And um, I think they're four, is it $14.95 or $15.50 now. So the, their prices have went up. So I'll have to look that up and see if that one's worth anything. If it's not, I'll just keep it. So, well, that would be a shame. <laughs> so I'm going to go eat at lunch now. All right, but I got my my crew, me and my crew here today. They're kind of nice. They're cute and they're quiet. <laughs> not, not like my kids. <laughs> kids are loud sometimes, so. All right, off to lunch. I just uploaded all the, <laughs> all of the footage that I had from last week when I was out thrifting on Friday. And I realized that there really wasn't a whole lot. Like it was, it was a really short day. It was a short trip. I went to two thrift stores and no, actually I went to three thrift stores and I, I showed you what I found at the Goodwill. I only found two things, the Pooh Bear and um, the Bath and Body Works, which I left in the car overnight. 
I had a fro was solid. Fro was solid. It was like a weapon. Like, I could have chucked it at Chuck. <laughs> and gave him a black eye. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I'm going to end up keeping that now. Because I don't know if that affected the um, consistency of the lotion or not. Like, I don't know. And I, I don't care. So, like, I'll still use it. So, it's not that big of a deal. But... It's like, son of a, I can't believe I forgot it in my car. It got, it was like, I don't know, probably negative something. It's always negative something here. It's probably negative 10 or something overnight. So yeah, it froze solid. And I went out and got it in the morning. So like right away in the morning, because I realized I didn't bring that in. So anyway, at the other thrift store that I stopped at, uh, I really didn't find a whole lot either. Um, Fridays... Like, if I get there late in the later in the morning or in the afternoon, everything's kind of picked over. It's super busy on Fridays. Um, it's just, and it's, yeah, I, I don't know. I look through everything, and I actually walked through the store twice um, just to make sure that I didn't miss something, and I, I, I didn't miss anything. So this is what I got. I found um, three items of clothing and these were on they have a rack now if the clothes are there for so long they uh, mark them down to 50 cents so these were each 50 cents a piece it's pretty uneventful but anyway it's a this one is a lands on women's plus size um navy blue uh, the, is it too dark can you hopefully you can see that it's a uh, wrinkle-free broadcloth blouse, so that was 50 cents. And then this is a Lands End knit dress, three-quarter sleeve, color purple. It's actually a really pretty color purple. And it doesn't even look like it's probably ever been worn. 50 cents. And then this one is Susan Graver style, or in style. I think it's just style. It's a size large. Color black. It's a, a knit dress. So that was 50 cents also. And that doesn't look like it's really been worn too much either. But that's all that's all she wrote, folks. That's all I got. So I still have um like little piles of stuff that I am still working through to try to get listed and photoed. I have a pile of dresses that I am have uh, listings built or drafts built and I have to go through and get photos of them and pa package them up and get them put away um yeah I got Maya's got a haircut tomorrow so I'm gonna go up and hang out with my mom and do some thrifting tomorrow so I'll take the GoPro tomorrow so I'll do that footage next week hopefully I'll get better footage but it's that's, that's all she wrote that's all I got <laughs> This is it. This is a whole enchilada. Garage sale season can't start soon enough here. That's all I can say. It's the end of February. We're in the last week of February. So our garage sale season doesn't usually start until probably April. Um, sometimes the end of March, depending on the weather, but usually we still have snow. By the end of March, we still have snow in May sometimes. <laughs> we have we have six months of snow here. We have six months of winter. So, yeah, that's not a good year. On a good year, we just have six months. Um, yeah, so that's it. So I just wanted to say thank you for hanging out with me and letting me show you the few things that I was able to find and for riding along with me on my very short trip. <laughs> Hopefully on my trip tomorrow I'll find some better stuff and get some better footage and keep the ball rolling. Keep the ball rolling. We'll keep the ball rolling. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. We'll see you later. Hey. How's it going? <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. You're in here. What do you need now? Huh? What do you need? You insisted on getting in here.
I don't I have anything smart to say as if I ever have anything smart to say.